Welcome back you guys. It is Sunday and you know what that means? Another video. Can I just share with y'all that I was driving home from church today and I thought to myself, man, I think I'm gonna stop to get Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is closed. They're closed on Sunday. But please believe I'll be there bright and early tomorrow. Maybe not bright and early, but at some point tomorrow, I really feel like I want Chick-fil-A. Anyway, welcome back again to the channel. You guys, I just got back from church and man, was it a powerful weekend. It was so good. From worship to the word, it was just awesome. Which is why you see that I've got like all the makeup on today. I did my full makeup and you guys look. Look, I mean, the lips are wearing off a little bit, but I found a new favorite red lipstick, the Lip Bar. So awesome, influenced by Anime Groves. And oh my goodness, I'm loving it. This one's called Hot Mama. Although I think I did mix it slightly um, with my liner and so it looks more pinkish, but it's like the perfect red. I just love it. Hot Mama, the Lip Bar. Go get you one, I'll put a link. Anyway, speaking of Hot Mama, Today, I wanted to talk about being a mama for the second time. Not pregnant, I'm not pregnant, but I wanted to talk about the journey to pregnancy number two. This is something that has been on the topic list for a long time, but I just have not yet made a video on it. And so here it is, you guys, here it is right now. I wanted to start the conversation and just take y'all along on the journey as we try to get pregnant for our second baby. So I wanna say that Weston and I have been trying for baby number two for probably about six months now. And for me, it's kind of been just a little hard because when we tried for Miles, it was literally first try, got pregnant right away. And of course we were just so excited and so happy. And this time around, you know, things change with the body, especially after having a child. You know, just there's so many variables in the process and the journey of getting pregnant. And so we figured that it probably would take a little bit longer. And honestly, I'm not even sure if it's been six months. I know six months is the time that I can remember, but my lady doctor, I remember having a conversation with my current lady doctor and her saying, well, you don't really have to worry about infertility. There's really nothing that should concern you with having another child. For most people, we don't really look at infertility until you've been trying for a year and nothing's happened. So I know I said six months, but really it's been a lot longer that we have not not been trying so we haven't been preventing anything anyway anyway so this is just gonna be a short video and it's really just a video to introduce that I'm gonna start sharing my journey to having baby number two and I gotta be honest with you guys I have had mixed feelings about having another child I mean first of all of course I would love to have another child um, especially for Miles to play with, but one that looks similar to Miles, like if they're gonna be brother and sister or brother and brother. And then of course to see Weston be a father all over again to another child, that would be so sweet. So like that part of it, I'm um, just, I get excited about. Now the being pregnant side, sometimes I just don't get as excited just cause all of the things that come along with it. Now don't get me wrong, I had a really nice smooth, easy pregnancy. It felt, I felt, I felt really good in my first pregnancy. Now the recovery, the road to recovery after pregnancy or an after laboring, that's another story. Y'all, if you didn't know, when I had Miles, he came one month early and I labored for 16 hours before my doctor came and said, hey, maybe we should look at doing a C-section. His heart rate was dropping. And so I just had to make a game time decision and that decision was to have a C-section. So I delivered Miles via cesarean <laughs> delivery, delivery and he came into this world really healthy and honestly weighing a lot more than I thought he would 
coming in a month early. First pregnancy was great. The not so great part was the postpartum preeclampsia. Preeclampsia. Um, and I didn't even know that I had it because we were just going through the day to day, going through the motions um, of just like making sure Miles was taken care of, um, doing all the things that we knew how to do as first time parents. And I mean, there was sleep deprivation for sure. And I talk a lot about that in another video, but I guess along the way, I was just so exhausted and not really doing the things I needed to do like sleep. And all that built up, really, my body was just like, ah, help me. And so my blood pressure just skyrocketed. And so that part was just not so fun. Um, hindsight, I'm probably definitely gonna get, <laughs> probably definitely, definitely going to get a night nurse for the next baby. Meaning someone to come and help take care of the baby while Weston and I sleep. It's a game changer and it's happening next baby. Anyway, so the journey to the next baby, I'm really excited to document it because as y'all know, I am 40 years old old and some might say that hey you're getting to that age where it could just be a little more challenging to have a baby i just really don't believe that i believe that if it's god's will he gonna get it done and so as i'm going into actually my 41st year of living my birthday i'll be 41 in june i'm going into it just excited to see how god's gonna bring me and weston another baby and so I'll be documenting this journey. I'm going to be going to my OBGYN, my OB. I'm going to be going to my lady doctor to kind of just get checked up and see how everything's going with this area here and just kind of get things checked out. Weston and I don't have any major concerns, but I will say this. The only thing that I've heard that typically can happen it's like as you're trying and trying to have a baby um you know our bodies could just not be in a relaxed state and you know not really doing what it needs to do because we're so like stressed out or on edge and so i'm doing what i can to stay really refreshed rested and relaxed although my schedule can get kind of crazy and you know things could get crazy life life is life life gets crazy um so you know, I'm going to be talking to my lady doctor about that. Um, some of the things that she thinks I should start doing just to better prepare uh, for us to conceive again. Another reason why I'm really excited to talk about this journey is because I know there's so many people out there who struggle or have struggled with infertility or people who have conceived and something happens along the way, didn't go full term, or miscarriages. I mean, there's so many stories out there regarding fertility, infertility, conceiving, not conceiving, the journey of pregnancy. I'm just excited to just share my journey and hopefully encourage or impact someone's life in this regard. Hey, listen, if you're a lady of a certain age, like 40, like myself, I want to encourage you. People all over the world are having babies well into their 50s. Our bodies were designed to do this. You can do it. We can do it. So here it is, the start of the journey. Not pregnant yet, but well on our way. <laughs> Listen, I will keep you guys posted. I'm not sure how often I will share these, but just know that this is chapter one part one of the pregnancy journey leading to baby number two gosh it's so crazy to say that like when we're not even pregnant yet but this is me stepping out on faith and just sharing the journey with you guys okay and also mamas out there you will feel me on this like going through the first year of having a baby like the sleep deprivation the the learning curve as a first time mom, I feel was really like, whoa, mind blowing. They say the second baby is a lot easier. I mean, I don't know if that's true for sure. I think it's probably different for everybody, but I mean, it makes sense. We're no longer first time mamas, right? We kind of been there, done that in a sense. Although we're still probably learning, it's probably gonna be another level of handling two kids at once and sure there's some feelings about all that like oh adding to the bunch 
adding to the family, what all that can entail. But either way, I know it's a blessing and it's about time, guys. Miles will be three years old in September. That, that just there right about blows my mind right there. Miles will be three. I'm gonna have a three-year-old, oh my gosh. But also today while I was at church, I saw I saw so many babies. I saw so many cute babies. Not just like from a distance and like, oh, there's a cute little baby right there. No, like literally in the same room, I got to interact with some newborns. Okay, maybe not newborns, but maybe like six months. And <sighs> I think they were all about six months. One was, I think was just over a month. And I'm like, Lord, am I getting baby fever right now? And like, this was just today. Like on the day that I was gonna make this video, this is what I saw. Um, and so it's definitely in my heart to want more children. I just, I love Miles so much and I would love another child, boy or girl. Now, honestly, I feel like a boy mom, but I would love a little girl as well. Y'all, I'm excited. Excited for whatever, whatever the Lord's gonna do, so. That's it, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. So get ready for consecutive parts of this series on the pregnancy journey. I hope you guys enjoy it, I hope you're encouraged by it. But also, if you have anything to share about this, what are some things that helped you guys? I don't know, you can comment below. You guys, thanks for coming along the journey with me. Let's just see what God does. Let's just see what he does. Listen, if you have not done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel like this video and hit notifications to be notified when i drop the next video have a great week coming up you guys appreciate you guys love you so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time